guys, welcome to another home lab series video here today. In today's video, we'll be continuing our Kubernetes adventure. Um, so we already got the Kubernetes cluster um, created. We also got Longhorn for storage. And now we can finally do traffic for routing. Um, and traffic is amazing because that means I won't need to like have a, you know, IP pool address that's like, you know, like over 100 IPs. We can just have one IP. Um, and traffic will do the routing based off of name-based routing. Plus, we will also be able to use our self-signed set as well. Um, but you can also set up traffic to use like, you know, a Cloudflare thing or whatnot. But we're going to do a self-signed set in this example here today. So stay tuned and let's have some fun. All right. So um, for those of you who haven't seen my previous videos, essentially what I got is um, three servers, uh, Kube Master, Kube Node 1, and a Kube Node 2, uh, which essentially the nodes obviously host the stuff. Kube Master, I just kind of have my deployment files or uh, Helm charts. And then um, I have a Metal LB for my load balancer, as well as Longhorn for my storage. So what we'll do is now essentially install traffic. So some of these commands already ran up beforehand, but uh, just in case I will, you know, just essentially type them out and then we'll, we'll do it. So uh, in this case, we will want to pull the Helm chart for traffic. So what you can do is run the Helm command, Helm repo add. We'll just name it traffic and we'll do HTTPS traffic.github.io slash charts. Um, so I'm going to just comment it out because I actually already ran the command, so it's already there. Um, but uh, right with that, you can do a Helm repo update which will essentially you know update stuff so you can see i have three helm charts longhorn traffic and uptown kuma um and then what we can do is do the helm pull traffic slash traffic um and then untar so this will essentially pull down the repository and the files um and i i report it down so then you can see here that there will be a traffic folder that you can use or cd into so in here, so you kind of have your you know default configurations in here, um, and really for the most part, you don't have to change anything in here except um, because we'll be using our metal LB uh, load balancer. We'll need to obviously associate a load balancer IP. So in your values.yaml, um, you can look up load balancer IP and essentially set the load balancer IP to one of the IP addresses in the pool. So in this case, um, 194 was just the one address that I had in there. So we'll be using 194. So, um, but you will replace this with whatever IP address that you have in your pool for your metal LB. After that, you can save it. Um, and then you can just do a home install. Well, sorry, you want to actually create the namespace first. So you do like kubectl create namespace uh, traffic um, and I already created the namespace and then you can do a home install traffic dot and traffic for the namespace and and I've already also done this so like I would do like an upgrade or something but there really isn't anything changed so like if I did an upgrade it would essentially say hey you know um, there really isn't much but it'll just deploy so Essentially, now traffic should be getting deployed. You can actually see a kubectl get pod and traffic. Um, and in this case, you can see that you know this has been running for 22 hours because we've already ran it. Um, so that's pretty much how you install traffic. Now, there really isn't too much to it. Um, but what we will want to do is actually make it so that it's routable, right? Um, so we can first validate get service and traffic that it actually did take the external IP. So if this external IP isn't the one that you did for your load balancer, we're going to have some problems, but this should work. And then what we'll do, so in this case, we'll just go to our uptime Kuma directory because we want to create a uh, traffic ingress and I would create the file so that you don't have to see me copy and paste a type. Um, what we'll do here is read this. So we'll create an ingress route for traffic. The metadata is essentially, you know, uptime stuff. We'll use web secure because we'll be using HTTPS in here. We'll match the host name. So for essentially the domain um, name. So if we have uptime Kuma, the dragon.local, it will go to the uptime uptime Kuma service, 
on port 3001. And you can see what the service is named if you do, do kubectl to get svc and uptime. You can see uptime, uptime kuma, and the port is 2001. So that's how you essentially do the routes and the ports. And then you'll see here that we have a TLS with the secret name Dragon Local Cert. Um, so in this case, we want to create um, the secret for the cert, which I already essentially have um, the prereq setup. So on my Steph CA server, I created a self-signed cert, which is essentially a wildcard of the dragon.local. So anything wildcard.dragon.local can use this cert. Um, but with that being said, you need to actually create the secret for it so that the ingress route can associate with it. So what we want to do is do kubectl create um, a, se a secret that's a TLS secret. We will name it dragon local cert because that's what we named it in uh, the file, but obviously you can name it whatever you want. We'll specify the cert and the cert will be in root certs wildcard.dragon.local.cert, which is essentially this file um, and it's in the directory. So this, this is in root certs and then the file name. Um, and then the key is equal to root certs wildcard dragon.local.key. Super simple. Now, the key point of this is this cert, um, this secret needs to be created in the same namespace as where your service is running. Um, so in this case, because we're going to do this for uptime Kuma, we'll do uptime um, because that's what we're doing it. Um, and so like, say for example, you would create another service, you would have to create another secret, um, even though it's a wild card set, you have to create another secret in that namespace as well. So that when it references, it uses the, it can, it can find the secret. So that's one thing to know because I ran into like somebody like, where am I supposed to put this and how does it work, right? But once you have that set created, what you can do now is essentially um, run your ingress YAML and all this will be in like a GitHub kind of readme too, so you can follow along there. Um, so what we'll do is now kubectl uh, apply f uptime traffic ingress and then namespace because it's in my uptime namespace, we'll paste that. So this essentially should create the routing so that when you go to the browser um, and type uptime uh, dot dragon dot local, um, in my DNS, like I guess that's the other thing, you have to have your DNS set up. If you don't have DNS set up, this won't work either. But essentially, I have the DNS set up so that uptime.dragon.local will resolve to the IP that Metal LB has um, for my traffic service, essentially. So that's the 194. So everything that I will create moving forward should be using the 172.16.194, which is great because now you're not creating like how I did in previous videos, where there would be like a, a whole VM for just one, you know, Docker container, which was good for, you know, just doing it and showing it. Um, but now it's going to be pretty cool and pretty simple. So that is one thing to note that. Um, although now pretty much you can just do HTTPS uptime.dragon.local um, and you'll essentially get the screen. So what happens is DNS goes to the metal LB IP address, which is associated with the traffic instance. And because you hit the rule for the host um, here, so this rule, match host, which is just the domain name, it will go and forward you to this service. And you can see that it is secure. You can see the connection. The cert is my wildcard.dragon.local cert. Um, and I have it. So you essentially have TLS fully set up with uh, traffic uh, fronting it. Um, and you can pretty much now create as many services and then create an ingress thing that looks very similar to like this um, that will allow you to essentially have TLS for your, you know, self-signed sets and everything. So, oh, and then the other thing to note is because I'm using Step CA, I already, my machine trusts that Step CA uh, uh, root set. So that's why I don't get like an error either with the self-signed set. Um, otherwise, if you don't have it trusted, you might still get you know the the error. Um, but if you trust it, you're good. So um, otherwise, you could set up traffic with like a Cloudflare public domain and do a DNS challenge. That is another way to do it. That's actually how I do it um, in my actual home lab. But I wanted to do like the self-signed set because I know probably you guys will be some people. Some of you guys will be using the self-signed set. So 
Um, but other than that, you just kind of rinse and repeat for every single service. You create a uh, secret for the wild card sets, and then you essentially create the route. Um, and that's it now. There's no like, hey, I don't need to set up uh, traffic anymore. Traffic is just set up on the back end, and that's it. There's, there's nothing else to edit. You just create ingress routes, and that's it now. Um, and you can use it. So that's the neat thing about traffic and doing it in Kubernetes. So that's pretty much it for this video. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. We'll probably have some more Kubernetes videos coming down the road of just different things to create as well. So if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.